Okay, so what I want to do is uh, create a dirt layer that's going to go across all of my materials. And I want them to be consistent, so I don't want to be micromanaging two different layers to try and balance the effect. So what I'm going to do is on the, my leather uh, layer here, leather material, uh, I'm going to add a new fill layer. And I'm going to turn off everything except for uh, color and roughness. And I'm going to take my color down to uh, a gray and I'm going to increase my roughness because I want to take the shine off some of these dirt areas. So for that then I'm going to add a black mask and just uh, for demonstration purposes we'll use the dirt layer or the dirt generator rather and that's going to generate some dirt all over our, um, all over our model. Now I can adjust this here and that's terrific. So I can take the dirt level down a bit. Uh, we could soften it up by taking the contrast down. And yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that really. Um, so I can see on the handle, it's kind of taking the shine off there. And yeah, that's great. Uh, but now of course our metal fixings aren't really kind of consistent with the whole thing they're you know far too clean and and bright so what I'm going to do is with that layer selected uh, let's name it actually uh, dirt I'm going to right click and select instantiate across texture sets now when we do that it's going to ask us which ones to do if you have more than one texture set or material then you can select all of them or some of them depending upon what you want uh, and then I'm going to click OK and you'll see that that has now applied our dirt uh, layer to our uh, metal fixings layer uh, material <laughs> so if you select the metal you'll notice that there are no properties on that layer because it's an instance it's a copy and it's a live copy so if I go to the briefcase layer and go to my generator uh, I can adjust it and it will adjust for both so if I take it right down you'll see there's no dirt on anything if I take it right up you'll see it's really increased the dirt level so I only have to adjust it in one place for both of those materials to you know line up and really look like they're you know occupying a similar space okay so i hope you found that useful that's instancing materials uh, or instancing layers across materials so i'll talk to you in another video